So, I heard you had crab apples. Why, yes, I did. That's very interesting. After I took my medication, me and Martha went downtown for some crab apples. Then we went to the senior center and played Uno. I got two wild cards. I have to poop. Hey, what you young whippersnappers doing? Ah, uh, we were just swapping stories. Huh, that's cool. You know, if you want to hear a real good story, I have one I could tell you. Here, sit down on your bum. It's a long story. Now, this story takes place a long time ago, and it begins at a battle. A brutal battle. One king tried to take over another king's territory. Was it nice about it? Finish them off. Oh, I can't kill them. They're so cute. Ugh. I'd hardly call them cute, mate. Horrific's more like it. But I can't kill them either. What will we do then? The boss wants us to get rid of them. I don't know. Ooh, let's put them in a boat and let them drift downstream. How would that help? Well, that way we don't have to actually kill them. Fair enough. Where do we get a boat? Oh, that might work. Now, after being abandoned by their father, who happened to be a god, and being floated downstream by two idiots, these two young boys were found by a wolf. This wolf decided, for unknown reasons, to take care of them back at its cave. Later, the two young boys, Romulus and Remus, were found by a farmer, Faustulus, and his wife. Ooh, they look adorable. Let's keep them. Just took in a puppy last week. Won't you be satisfied? If you boys can do that, you're all right in my book. Come on, let's get you boys home. No, first list and his wife. Took the two young boys back to civilization. There they learned how to become men rather than wolves or dogs or something like that. These two bright young men had great destinies. To start, the two now men took back the city that they were born in from the evil king Amulius. Amulius was slain. After this, the two brothers decided to make their own city, but to decide who would rule it, they each stood on a hill to see who more birds would go to. I spy something slow. The sky! The sky! The sky. I spy something green! Your hill? No! Mine! Yes! We are hopeless. More birds went to Romulus. Needless to say, Remus was pretty mad. Hey, Romulus! I defy you and your stupid wall and your stupid city! Ha 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 ha
with the death of Remus, Romulus named the city Rome. Uh, come on, it wasn't that long. <laughs>